we use exchange rates to convert money between different currencies. So in this first question, we're told the exchange rate is one pound is equal to one euro and 12 cents. So one pound is worth the same as one euro and 12 cents. The first question says convert 350 pounds into euros. So we're going to use this exchange rate. So if I've got pounds and euros, I know every one pound is worth one euro and 12 cents. And I want to know what 350 pounds is in euros. So what do I do to go from 1 to 1.12? I multiply by 1.12. So if I want to go from 350 pounds to euros, I'm going to multiply by 1.12. So I'm going to do 350 times 1.12. 350 times 1.12 is 392. So the answer is 392 euros. And you can also notice that if I wanted to go back from euros to pounds, how do I go from 1.12 back to a pound? How do I go from 392 back to 350? I do the opposite of times in by 1.12, which is dividing by 1.12. And that's what we're going to use in the second question. So we're converting 210 euros to pounds. So we know one pound is worth 1.12 euros. And We've got 210 euros and we need to find what that is in pounds. So to go from one pound to 1.12 euros, we times by 1.12. If I want to go back the other way, I'm going to divide by 1.12. So this calculation, 210 divided by 1.12. is 187.5 but this is money so it's going to be 187 pounds and 50p half a pound is 50p okay a question for you to try so give this one a go this time we're changing between pounds and dollars so we're told one pound is one dollar and 26 cents. So we've got pounds and dollars and one pound is one dollar 26. So to go from pounds to dollars, I'm going to times by 1.26. And if I want to go back, if I want to go from dollars to pounds, I divide by 1.26. So we've got 275 pounds. So we want to go from pounds to dollars. So we times by 1.26. So 275 times by 1.26. And that's 346.5. But this is in dollars, remember? So we've got $346.50. Part B, convert $315 into pounds. So again, we've got the same exchange rate. This time we've got $315. And we're going back to pounds. So it's divide by 1.26, 315 divided by 1.26. 
and that's 250. So it's pounds, 250 pounds. And another exchange rate question. This time we have pounds and lira. So it's the same thing. We've got an exchange rate of one pound is equal to 8.6 Turkish lira. And we're going to convert 500 pounds. So on the pound side, 500 into Turkish lira. So to go from one to 8.6, we times by 8.6. And if I wanted to go back, so to go from pounds to lira, I'm timesing by 8.6. From lira to pounds, I'm dividing by 8.6. So I'm going from pounds to lira, so it's times 500 times 8.6. And that is 4,300. So it's 4,300 Turkish Lira. Part B, convert 2,500 Lira into pounds. We've got the same exchange rate, and this time we've got 2,500 Lira. So we want to go back, say from Lira to pounds, we divide by 8.6. So our calculation is 2,500 divided by 8.6. And we're going to give our answer to two decimal places. So that is, I've got 290.697 and so on. I'm giving it to two decimal places because we're dealing with money. And in money, we only go up to two decimal places. So we've got 290.70. So it's 290.70 and it's in pounds. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. So this time we have pounds and yen, Japanese yen. We are told the exchange rate is one pound is equal to 135 yen. So to go from pounds to yen, we're going to times by 135. And to go from yen back to pounds, it will be divided by 135. We want to change 350 pounds into yen. So from pounds to yen, we are timesing by 135. 350 times 135. And that's 47,250. And that is in yen. Part B, convert 5,000 yen into pounds. So the exchange rate's the same. And we're going from yen to pounds. So to go from yen to pounds, we're going to divide by 135. So we're going to do 5,000 divided by 135. And we have, again, to two decimal places, we have 37.04. So that's 37 pounds and 4 pence. Okay, a different type of question. A pair of shoes costs 60 pounds in the UK. The same pair of shoes costs 70 pounds in France. And we've got the exchange rate. It's still one pound is one euro and 12 cents. Are the shoes cheaper in the UK 
or in France. So let's convert 70 euros into pounds. So both of the amounts will be in pounds and we can compare them. So the exchange rate says one pound is one euro and 12 cents. And we've got 70 euros and I want to know what that is in pounds. So to go from euros to pounds, I'm going to divide by 1.12. So I'm going to do 70 divided by 1.12. And I've got 62.5. So what does that mean? So that's 62 pounds and 50p. So that's the price in France. So in France, it's 62 pounds 50p. In the UK, it's 60 pounds, which is cheaper. 60 pounds is less than 62 pounds. So the UK is cheaper. And one for you to try. So give this one a go. A phone costs $750 in USA. The same phone costs 630 euros in Germany. The exchange rate is $1 is equal to 89 cents. Is the phone cheaper in the USA or Germany? So we need to make them the same to compare them. So it doesn't matter which way round we do this. We can make them both in euros or both in dollars. So let's change them into euros. If you do dollars, it's not a problem. You should get the same answer. So we've got dollars and euros. One dollar is 89 cents in euros. So to go from dollars to euros, we times by 0 0.89. One times 0 0.89 is 0 0.89. And to go from euros back to dollars, we do the opposite, which is divide by 0 0.89. Let's convert $750 into euros. So in USA, if we do 750 times 0 0.89, we find that's worth 667.5. So that is, in euros, 667 euros and 50 cents which is cheaper, well, it's 630 in Germany, euros, 667 in America, in the USA. So it is cheaper in Germany. The other way of working it out would have been to change 630 euros into dollars which would be divide by 0 0.89. So 630 divided by 0 0.89. So we could have said in Germany, the phone costs $707.87. So 707 dollars is less than $750, so it's cheaper in Germany. Okay, to finish up, two questions. They are slightly different. They're still dealing with exchange rates. So give these a go. And press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one. A pair of trainers costs... 2,500 baht in Thailand 
the same pair of shoes, same pair of trainers, costs 90 euros in Spain. The exchange rate is, or the exchange rates are, one pound is 40 baht, and one pound is 1.12 euros. Are the shoes cheaper in Thailand or Spain? So we're going to convert them both into pounds. So if we do with Thailand first, so one pound, we've got pound and Thai bat. One pound is 40 bat. So to go from pounds to bat, we're going to times by 40. To go from bat back to pounds is a divide by 40. And we're going from bat to pounds, we've got 2,500. So it's 2,500 divided by 40. And that is 62.5, which means 62 pounds and 50 pence. So that's how much the trainers or the shoes cost in Thailand, now Spain. So pounds to euro. One pound is 1.12 euros. And they cost 90 euros in Spain. So from pounds to euros is times by 1.12. From euros to pounds is divided by 1.12. So 1 times 1.12 is 1.12. And 1.12 divided by 1.12 is 1. So we're going back from euros to pounds. So 90 divided by 1.12 and that is 80 pounds so it's a two decimal places again because it's money that's 80 pounds and 36 pence so where are the shoes cheaper well definitely thailand 62 pounds 50 is less than 80 pounds so they are cheaper in thailand okay question two sam went on holiday flights cost 450 pounds the hotel was 35 euros a night for 10 nights and we've got an exchange rate of one pound to one euro and 15 cents and we want the total cost of the holiday in pounds. So we've got 450 pounds, 35 euros a night for 10 nights is 350 euros. We need to change that to pounds. So the exchange rate is one pound is one euro and 15 cents. So to go from pounds to euros, times by 1.15, and euros back to pounds, divide by 1.15. So we're going euros to pounds. So we're going to divide by 1.15. 350 divided by 1.15. Is... Again, to two decimal places, £304.35. So the total cost is 450 plus our answer. So that will be £754.35. Pence.